Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to 50 Years. So, this is a game that I have gotten a, sent a key to from the developers. Uh, I'm quite interested in this game. It, from what it sounds like, it, from what it said, it's, I think it sounds like it's some sort of a strategy type of game. Where you run a country. But anyways, let's just get into this new game. Um... We'll go for normal. I don't think we want to go super easy, but normal seems reasonable. Okay. And I guess we get to start a... Pick a country. So we've got the Americans. An extra 100 gold per turn. I guess that is their ability. The British... The British. Each forester's hut gives plus 10 wood and plus 10 faith per year. Lumber mills penalty to gold production is capped at 50%. The Greeks start game with Minotaur Maze, can hire Minotaurs for food. Big Hydra splits into three mini Hydras. Okay. Russians sell furs so they don't build lumber mills. Forester's huts give plus 100 gold per turn. Alright. Japanese, a random unit in the army, gets an ability to deal double damage and to block one damage. French, wounded units retreat. Celts, get an additional 30 faith per year. Effect lasts until the deforestation begins. Forces of nature heals warriors for 15 life during the battle. Romans, can hire human units for the points of faith. Can't hire mythological creatures. Byzantines, after acquiring the first points towards a belief, a second belief is immediately granted for free. Egyptians can construct buildings using faith points. Don't do scouting, start with 100 points of faith. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Uh... Uh, I haven't played this game before, so I'm not quite certain which of these abilities is the best. Uh... Uh, Celts seem somewhat interesting. Um... go for the Byzantines or perhaps the Egyptians the American bonus does seem kind of like a just generally decent inoffensive bonus uh, I would go for the Byzantines after acquiring the first point towards a belief a second belief is immediately granted for free is that good is that bad I have no idea let's get into this okay so We have a menu here. Uh, we have a thousand gold. It seems we get plus one hundred per turn. Um. Uh, so we can scout. Okay. We can construct buildings. We currently have a barracks into town hall. Uh. So I think maybe the first thing we do is we get some peasants. That seems decent. And then we end the year, sure. Okay, cool. And so it seems that we get a hundred gold per peasant we have. And this food here seems to be the limit of how many peasants we can have. Uh oh. We are attacked. What's the list? Uh Mushman. Let's get a couple militiamen. Okay, so this is fighting. Good, the battle's over. We gained some faith, yay! Okay. Oh, uh, we can't really do much of anything. We will end the year. I think we should probably get a swordsman. At least one swordsman, that way we can actually have stuff happen. 
Alright, we're attacked. Uh, we'll call another- we'll call a militiaman to help. Uh, eat- but we didn't even need to. Good, good. Okay, another peasant. Not enough food. Okay, so to get more peasants, we'll probably need to build uh, a chicken farm, I suppose, which we can't currently build yet. We also have some other buildings uh, that get stuff. The foresters, that seems like a decent enough building. Well, let's get one of those. Okay. And then we shall end the year. Alright, another peasant. I like peasants. Uh, let's call a couple militiamen. I don't think these guys should give us- So the battles do occur kind of, like, automatically, as it were. Uh, let's get a chicken farm. That seems good. Your scouts have discovered that the chicken- your scouts have discovered the chicken devil's altar. Oh. A chicken devil. That's... That's scary. Let's get another swordsman just so I can feel safer. Ooh, they've got swords in now. Alright. Let's call a couple militiamen. Good, good. No losses, yeah. And we're working on getting the fate. Den was found. A zombie chicken's graveyard. Huh. Okay, that's interesting to say the least. What other buildings can we build? Uh, church. I suppose that's probably good. Plus 50 faith per year. Uh, we could save up for a church, perhaps. Uh, we should be able to do this easily. And so, I guess, given the name of the game, I suppose we have 50 years. And we're currently in year 12. So that is something to keep in mind. Okay, so we've got a church now. And I suppose we can build more of these buildings. Okay. Cool. Then there's the stable, the lumber mill. Okay. Well then, let's uh, end the year, I guess. Ooh, a new belief! Yay! Okay, so we've got... Legends of the Force. Three Forester's Huts appear for free. Each Forester's Hut gives plus one food. Legends of the Miners. Peasants mine 10% more gold, plus 500 gold at once. Pantheon of Fat Chickens. At the beginning of the battle, two random units in the army get plus 20 to life. Plus one food from chicken farms. Temple of Defenders. Two swords and join the army immediately. Militiamen have five more life. Equality Church. Church appears for free. Three previously killed units will be revived. We haven't had any losses. Let's get the Legends of the Forest. I like that. And then we could continue down this. Get plus 200 wood per year from lumber mills, which we don't actually have any of yet. So... Chickens seems decent as well. I like chickens. There we go. And uh, let's get... Let's get a stable. Well, there's knights to be hired. Cool. And end the year. Yes, hire a knight. Woo. Knights. Uh, a couple more peasants seems good to me. Ooh, they've got archers. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, let's call in a couple militiamen here. Okay, so yeah, the archers can't attack from range. Oh, we lost. We lost the swordsman. Hmm. 
That's unfortunate. We shall hire another knight, though. Oh, cool, we get a new belief. Yay. Two swords and join the army immediately. Wonderful. Okay. Um. Let's see. We could get a cow shed. Plus one food per year. That sounds alright. Uh, how can we get more peasants? Is there any way to increase the amount of peasants, or are we just kind of capped at 10? Hmm, I'm not seeing one. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, there we go, town hall. Okay, so we would need another town hall to get more peasants. Let's get a lumber mill. There we go. Uh huh. What does wood give us? I'm not quite certain. As archers to be hired, those archers are pretty decent. I like that. Okay, so archers require wood. Got it. Got it. Okay. Let's get another knight. End the year. Can hire an archer. That's nice. Uh, we'll get a new town hall. Boom. Okay. I think we should be able to handle this. Hopefully with minimal damage and losses. Boom. Take that. Let's get another archer. I like archers. Um... We could probably use... A... Let's get some more uh, peasants. Oh, this is this will be easy. Let's fight these guys. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Okay, what's uh so druid's oak allows druids to be hired. One druid can live in the oak. Each oak increases the druid's range by five percent, and then we've got the forest. The Minotaur maze sounds interesting. Um I would not be against working towards the Minotaur maze. Oh, we need more food. Huh. Uh, I think we're still probably good, especially since they have so much militia. Great, great. Alright. Each chicken farm can support one additional peasant. Let's get Lumberjacks Masters. I like that. Boom. Okay. Let's construct a Druid's Oak and a Minotaur's Maze. As well as a Peasant. Yeah. Could probably do with getting more church related stuff. Um, let's get a. Uh, I like druids. That, that should be good. And a minute. Oh, no food. Darn. Okay, well, let's construct a chicken farm then. And how about a nice little uh, stable? Try another archer. There we go. I think we got this. Oh, I think we lost a soldier. Oh, we lost a swordsman. Darn. Uh, okay. They don't have quite enough for a minotaur. Uh, and this costs 4,700 wood. That's a lot of wood. Let's get some more peasants. There we go. 
two druids. We should be able to take on two druids. Oh my! Oh, they just obliterated us. We lost a swordsman and a knight. Knights aren't cheap. Let's get a minotaur. The minotaurs will save us. Uh, and Lear. Uh, we should turn into a tiger. Uh, we should be fine. The druid just on his own is fairly good. Um, hmm. let's get a knight. And honestly, uh, let's get some more archers just because they're really quite good. We could use some more range in our army, I think. Let's fight. Yeah, the Minotaur is pretty good. Minotaur is pretty good. Ooh, here we are. Forced the Defender. The Force heals injured units up to 30 life can be healed. When your unit dies in combat, a tiger appears on your side once in a battle. In the event that your entire army is defeated, nine tigers appear. Occurs once per game. Um... Let's get zombie chickens. Yeah. We got zombie chickens. Woohoo. Um Speaking of zombie chickens, let's uh, let's deal with the chicken devil. Okay, uh chicken alright. Banish the devil. Let's banish the devil. And that's do something to get these zombie chickens. Okay. Let's... Let's call in a bit of militia, just in case. Let's fight. Oh no, one of our zombie chickens died. Oh, we got chicken. Yay? Okay. Uh... I would like more lumber mills. Because yeah, we need We need more lumber. Uh we need more peasants. Ah, oh, that should be easy. Let us construct... We should really kind of probably move on this whole, like, faith line, probably. We got this. At le the very least I could do is make the armies pose somewhat of a challenge. There we go. Alright, construct a building. Get the monastery. Allows paladin training. Paladins are taken from the knights. Their training costs faith. The monastery stairs can support three paladins. Boom. We can get paladins now. Nice. Man, there's a battle like almost every turn now. Boom, the zombie chicken even survived. Nice. Okay, um, let us see. And then the cathedral is 6,000 gold. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh, let's get a forester's hut. And then, you know, another forester's hut. Ah, uh, we should be fine. Let's keep going, let's do this! We have the most crazy mishmashed army imaginable. 
Alright, uh, town hall. I would like a town hall. Also, I would like... The enchanted forest allows unicorns to be hired. One tiger can stay in the army for each enchanted forest. Nice. We can get unicorns now. Unicorns. Let's fight. Nice. Okay, let's get a let's get a unicorn. Woo! Unicorns, yeah. I am up for that. And let's get a cup let's get more paladins. And a knight would be good. Sword we are like out of swordsmen. We could use some more peasants. Let's dedicate our money to peasants next year. Yeah. Boom, get those peasants. Oh my, this is, uh, a significant army. All units in the enemy's armies. Let's use the scroll of transformation. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Because that was a significant army. Boom. <laughs> That's how you use a scroll of transformation successfully. Let's get a druid. Um, yeah, let's uh, recruit some more peasants. Because I we want to get that gold coming in. Uh, we could use another... Maybe another druid's oak. Potentially. Uh-huh. End the year. Alright, this should be fine. Fight him! There we go, yeah, we are... Taking it to him. Alright, so let's get a new druid's oak. And we'll be able to get another druid. That should be good. One more peasant. Woohoo. And let's just kinda get some more... Some more swordsmen, max that out. Uh, we'll need more gold to get some knights. Uh, paladin would be nice. There we go. One more paladin. Yeah. Okay, I want more gold. Uh huh. I suppose another forester's hut would be a good way of getting gold. I mean, they're not the most cost-effective necessarily, but they're decent enough, I suppose. Let's call a bit of militia. Not that I think we'll need them, but better safe than sorry. And this tiger's pretty good. Oh, we lost a couple zombie chickens. Oh, darn. Ooh, a den. And a lost mine. Ooh. Ooh, let's get, let's go to the Lost Mine. Two Minotaurs. Let's go. Those Minotaurs were not the toughest. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, Hydra. Maybe we should wait until we ourselves have a Hydra to get a Hydra. A Hydra Pond! We're actually fairly close to getting the Hydra Pond. So that's, that's nice. Let's go! The Unicorn is quite good too. Oh, yay! Let's see. When your unit dies in combat, a tiger appears. Uh, let's get Forest Fury. Okay, uh, let's get another shooting grounds. So we can get more archers. And we'll just kind of, let's save up. 
so we can get the hydropods. Not a problem, we got this. <laughs> These battles are jokes. This will be a tough year. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Let's get a hydra spot. And how much does a hydra cost? Only 3,600, so I mean, if we survive a couple more years, we'll be able to get a hydra. Um, hmm. We can get an archer. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. Uh, let's end the year. <gasps> oh my, five unicorns calling the militia. Let's go. I think we did suffer some losses there, unfortunately. Yeah, a swords and a paladin, a knight, and a zombie chicken. Unfortunates. But we did it. We overcome. We overcame all those unicorns. Uh, we don't have any knights. Hmm. Uh, call the militia just in case. So the, yeah, these armies have gotten tougher. Uh, let's get Force the Defender. Because, yeah, help of the Force looks pretty good. I want to try to get that before the game's over. Uh... Uh, let's get the Hydra. Nice, we have a Hydra now. How wonderful is this? We have so many mystical beasts by our side in the battle. Nice, okay. We should try to get a cathedral. Uh huh. In the year. Do we have enough for. No, next year we'll be able to get a cathedral. Okay, I'm not too worried. Let's do this. Oh no, a tiger died. Darn. Oh well. Cathedral time! Yeah! What does the Sky City allow us? Angels? Oh man, I wish we had gotten to see that. But yeah, I mean, if this game truly only lasts 50 years, we're not going to have time to see everything that the Sky City has to offer. Unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, let's look at our scouting. Let's go to the Foggy Swamp. I mean, it's a single Hydra. We've got a Hydra plus an army. We ought to be able to do this. Oh, wow. That is not difficult. Okay. Woohoo. Yay. Hurrah. What's the Exorcist? I don't know. I want to wait so we can get the ants. Uh, our army is thinning out significantly, which does worry me. Okay, help of the forest. Tree guard, a unit with a lot of life, joins the army. A thousand life. Nice. We got a tree guard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've got that. That's cool. Let's get anything. We should probably uh, reinforce our army. Get. 
how to get an exorcist. A knight is required, okay. Let's get our knights back up on an exorcist. Just to see what they do. Den was found, ooh. The mirror. Oh. Get some militiamen to kind of hopefully break the stalemates. This will be the ultra test. And so, yeah, it's a mirror match. It's literally our army against our army. Now, unfortunately, the militia is behind is stuck behind a full row of archers. Which, yeah, that's that's not ideal. Are those? Oh, so those are the tree guards. Okay. Well, we won that battle. <laughs> oh my goodness. We won that battle, but at what cost? That was our entire core of infantry. Destroyed, completely obliterated there. Oh, that did not go as well as I would have hoped. Even lost a bunch of peasants. Fight! Oh man. Alright, come on, tree guard, you got this. Uh-oh. It's archers on archers now. Wow. Our army consists of archers now. Huh. Shrink all the units in the enemy's army. I think this is the final battle, so call all the militiamen. Let's do this. I probably, I probably should have had the druids turn into tigers. Since they, uh, since this was obviously going to be a melee fight for them. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. But yeah, we've, we've done it. Uh, let's get equality, church. Yeah. The final battle? Wait, that wasn't the final battle? Oh no! Oh no! That's not good! That is not good! Get the swordsmen! Oh no. Well, here we go! Okay, we're gonna lose this one, guys. But it was, it was, it was a valiant effort. And this is our last stand here. Unfortunately, we've, we didn't save any of our tricks for this moment. Well, nine tigers? Who knows? Nine tigers! Can nine tigers beat this army? That is the question. I. Doubt it. We're down to two tigers. 
Uh, one last tiger. And now a Hydra! Can a Hydra beat this army? I doubt it. Uh, defeats. We held out for 50 years. Darn, it was all... If we hadn't have gone and taken on that mirror army, we would have been- we would have easily been able to build up our, our forces and crush this final army. In fact, I thought that the battle before this one was the final battle. If I had known that there was another one after that, I would have saved the scroll of shrinking for sure. And so- but anyways, guys, that's- that's 50 years of- uh, we can press this restart button. Yeah, that's just the title screen. Yep, guys, so that is 50 years. Aw, uh, it's an interesting little game. Uh, I'd say it's... It's almost kind of like a uh, turn-based clicker type of game, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, I didn't quite realize exactly what we were building towards, and really... I suppose it probably would have been best to specialize in one of those, uh, paths, either going down kind of the, uh, mythological beast path, or the faith path, or the wood path, the woods path. Uh, it probably would have been better to specialize. Uh, yeah, so it's interesting, uh, I would personally like it if the game had a little more depth. I feel like if I played it through a second time, now that I don't know what to expect, I could probably easily just obliterate everything in my path. But it's still in early access, so there's sure, sure to be some more additions and tweaks to mechanics and whatnot in the coming months. So, yeah, there we go. That's 50 years, guys. Um, if you liked it, uh, I would be open to playing through another round, definitely, uh, but, anyways guys, until next time, I have been Seamycraft, and I will catch you in the next episode of something. Goodbye.